Jay, thank you. The fight is getting ugly between the Batters Police Chief and the Batters Police Union. The chief turned up the heat, firing an officer who supported a billboard campaign that criticized the chief and his leadership. Now, as Austin Kempka reports, the fired officer's attorney is fighting to get him back on the force. See a, you know, basically a dictator-style administration step up like this and try union-busting tactics just because you don't agree with the nature of the uh, conversation. It's childish. It's inappropriate. And we're not going to tolerate it as an international union. Chris Stewart with the Louisiana Law Enforcement Association laying in to Chief Murphy Paul over his firing of the second in command of the police union, Officer Sia Creel. Well, it was flat out retaliatory. According to documents from BRPD, Creel was terminated after an internal affairs review. This past summer, Creel gave an interview for a YouTube channel about controversial billboards going up around the city that are critical of Chief Paul and the city's high murder rate. Chief Murphy Paul says Creel was not authorized to give that interview and should not have done so with his gun and badge visible. There's three of them. The fired officer's lawyer says that just doesn't make sense. Because there's legions of footage up from the chief on down representing private organizations in which they have financial interests or even prior union members giving statements to the press in full uniform. Not just a badge and a gun, but the whole darn ball of wax. Just about everything in that... In fact, several members of the Baton Rouge Police Union have been interviewed by this very station in the past. As you can see here, they've been in full uniform. That has never been enforced in the past. It was enforced in this instance because the chief didn't like the billboards. Who you representing? When asked, the spokesman for the department said the violation happened because this wasn't a typical TV interview. This was something posted to social media, which... The department says falls within a different set of rules. Social media policy is where the violation occurred. I'm not sure if there was a social media policy in place at the time of those other uh, union members when they did the, the interviews with TV. Now this uh, interview was put on a blog, which put it in a, a different perspective and was placed on social media and not for a uh, review uh, through the normal channels that, that would have uh, possibly gone through. According to Creel's termination report, the social media policy he violated was allowing the blogger to film his department uniform, badge, patches, marked patrol car, or any other item which is identifiable to BRPD without permission from the chief. He was wearing his badge and gun when he did that uh, YouTube piece and because he was in the city limits when they, they did it and it is a strict policy on our off duty we have to be armed uh, with inside this, your jurisdiction. BRPD spokesman L. Gene McNeely says the interpretation is up to the chief's discretion and will be enforced similarly moving forward. The line of communication will be if you're doing a interview in representation of the union or, or other uh, different entity, uh, don't wear the, the police uh, logo or uh, things of, to where you would be recognized as an officer within the Baton Rouge Police Department. Kraft says an injunction will be filed in court this week. That would keep Creel on the force until a hearing can be held. Austin Kemker, WAFB, 9 News. Thank you, Austin. Both the union and the officer's attorney say they will also appeal that termination.